Now we're getting what's called a, an unprecedented look at colossal solar eruptions. So what's happening on the sun here? I'm always interested when you hear about flares and eruptions. The sun's meant to go for another lazy five billion years. It, it, would there be something that could happen that could drastically alter that? So, you know, this is actually a really good question because, you know, all these little solar flares and ejections of, of gas and material are, are relatively small on the scale of things. But occasionally there is a large amount of energy released. So you really want to see how much energy and how much stuff is being released from the sun. Now, look, you know, we say five billion years. It probably, yeah, it could be four and a half. It could be 4.8 billion years. So to us, that seems the same. 200 million years actually is a big difference in the scale of a planet down the future. So you do want to understand those small scale variations for the lifetime and the way the planet works or the sun works. But then yeah. also how those solar flares start, because those are the ones that produce the aurora, but also create radio interference, satellite interference and problems on Earth. So you want to understand how those conditions okay. ripen. You know, how do you build into a storm? Yeah. It's a bit short today. We'll talk next week. We'll blame the Prime Minister, but Brad Tucker. Thank you.